Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that compare the two linear functions given below and determine which has a negative slope. Function 1 Kate starts with $30 on a gift card for the bookstore. She spends $4.50 per week to buy a magazine. Let Y be the remaining amount as a function of the number of weeks x. Function 2. The school bookstore rents graphing calculators for $4 per month. It also collects a non-refundable yearly fee of $12 for the school. Write the rule for the total cost C of renting a calculator as a function of the number of months M. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is when the dependent variable Y decreases will increase in independent variable X then slope is negative and when the dependent variable Y increases with increase in the independent variable X then slope is positive. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now in the question we are given two linear functions with different representations. One is in table and the other is in statement form. Now we have to compare these two given linear functions regarding their slopes and here we have to find that which function has a negative slope. Now in function 1 we are given a table showing number of weeks and amount Also, Y shows the remaining amount as a function of number of weeks X. So here, Y is a function of X. So here, Y is the dependent variable and X is the independent variable. Now from the table you can see that when number of weeks is equal to 0, then amount is equal to $30 and going on such a way, when number of weeks is equal to 4, then amount is equal to $12. So here you can see that with increase in value of X, there is a decrease in value of Y. Here Kate starts with $30 and spends money each week. The amount of money left decreases each week. And from the key idea we know that when the dependent variable decreases with the increase in independent variable, then slope is negative. So here, as Y decreases with increase in X, So, the slope is negative. And as she spends $4.50 per week, so slope is equal to minus 4.5. 
Now we can also calculate the slope from this table. Now here you can see that change in y is minus 4.50 and change in x is 1. Now slope is equal to change in y upon change in x. So this is equal to minus 4.50 upon 1 which is equal to minus 4.50. So, from this table we have got the slope as minus 4.50. Now, in function 2, students pay an yearly non-refundable fee of $12 for renting the calculator and pay $4 per month. So, in function 2, with increase in number of months, the total cost of the rent also increases and from the key idea we know that when y increases, that is when the dependent variable increases with increase in the independent variable x, then slope is positive and here as the students have to pay $4 per month so here slope is positive and the slope will be equal to 4. And also we have to write the rule for the total cost C of renting a calculator as a function of the number of months M. So here linear function is given by C is equal to 4M plus 12. This means total cost C of renting is equal to cost paid per month which is $4 into number of months M plus cost paid per year which is $12. And here slope is positive. So for function 1 slope is minus 4.5 and for function 2 slope is equal to 4. Thus function 1 has a negative slope. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.